Hey guys, hope you are doing good. I am Roshni and once again welcome to my channel Circuit Globe. In today's video lecture, we will explain what is mutual induction and mutual inductance. So what are we waiting for? Let's proceed. Guys, before elaborating mutual induction, let's have a recap of electromagnetic induction as mutual induction is originated from electromagnetic induction. So electromagnetic induction is the process of generating electric current by changing magnetic field. Basically what happens here is when current flowing through a circuit changes then the magnetic field associated with it also changes. This leads to cause change in magnetic flux and according to Faraday a changing magnetic flux induces EMF in the coil and due to the induced EMF current is generated and this current is known as induced current. Guys electromagnetic induction is of two types self induction and mutual induction. We have made a separate video on self induction and explained electromagnetic induction in it as well. So if you haven't watched that video yet do check out the same. Now coming back to mutual induction. So mutual induction is defined as the phenomena by which EMF is induced in one coil due to changing current in the another coil. Unlike self induction which takes place in a single coil of a circuit, mutual induction involves two coils. From the word adjacent over here we mean that the coil in which current is getting induced must be present in the magnetic field region of the coil in which changing current is flowing. Consider the figure shown here. In this figure we can clearly see that there are two coils A and B. Suppose I is the current which is flowing through coil A. So the coil in which actual current is flowing is the primary coil while the other one in which induced current will flow will be the secondary one. Here we are considering I as the actual current which is flowing through coil A and due to this current magnetic field lines will set up and this will induce current in coil B also and this current will be known as induced current. We know that when current flows through a coil then magnetic field gets generated and as it is clearly shown here that the field lines of A are passing through B. When the current flowing through the primary coil changes then the magnetic field line also changes and resultantly the magnetic flux linkage shows variation. This leads to inducing EMF in the secondary coil due to which induced current begins to flow through the secondary coil also. Now let us understand mutual induction using the circuit representation shown here. Guys here we are having two coils this one and this one and out of the two coils one forms direct connection with the battery and the switch while the other one forms no direct connection with the battery and switch but forms a connection with a bulb which is shown here. In the open switch condition like the case which is shown here no current flows through this particular coil and so mutual induction will not take place in this particular scenario. And due to this reason the bulb connected with this particular coil will remain off. Now let's move further and understand the next case scenario where the switch will get closed and the bulb will start glowing. Guys the closing of this switch and glowing of this bulb depends on the phenomenon of mutual induction. Let's see in detail how this happens. So once this switch gets closed then due to the presence of this power supply current will begin to flow through this coil of the circuit and as actual current is flowing through this circuitry thus this will be our primary coil. As the current which is flowing through this particular part is of changing nature in correspondence to the strength as well as direction thus the magnetic field lines which is generated due to the flow of current will also begin to change and so the changing magnetic field will give rise to changing magnetic flux. We have already discussed that according to Faraday's law a changing magnetic flux will induce EMF. So EMF will get induced in this particular coil of the circuit that is primary coil and this will give rise to induced current in the primary coil which is called self induction. However as we can clearly see that these magnetic lines of force are extended up to the secondary coil region. Thus the changing flux will induce EMF in the secondary coil as well and so current will get induced in the secondary coil also. Once induced current that is I2 will start flowing in this particular part of the circuit then the bulb connected over here will begin to glow. So guys this phenomenon of inducing current in one coil that is the secondary one 
due to the changing flux in another that, that is the primary one is called mutual induction. It is to be kept in mind that for mutual induction to occur the strength of the magnetic field must be strong enough to induce current in the secondary coil because in case of lower strength of magnetic field current will not get induced in the secondary coil. Thus we can say greater the current flowing through the primary winding more will be the strength of magnetic field resultantly more will be the flux linkage and so the induced EMF. Now let us understand about mutual inductance. So mutual inductance is defined as the property that permits two or more coils to get magnetically coupled by a common magnetic flux. Now as we have discussed recently that a changing current in primary induces EMF in the secondary coil. Therefore we can say that the flux in secondary coil is proportional to the changing current in the primary coil. On removing the sign of proportionality we can have phi 2 is equals to m i 1. This m represents coefficient of mutual induction that is mutual inductance. According to Faraday the EMF induced in the secondary coil will be equal to the rate of change of magnetic flux. Therefore we will have E2 is equals to minus d phi 2 upon dt and hence on substituting the value of this phi 2 over here we will have E2 is equals to minus d by dt of m i 1. Hence we will get E2 is equals to minus m 2 1 d i 1 upon dt as the final equation for the EMF induced in the secondary coil. This m21 represents the mutual inductance in secondary due to primary. Friends the induced current which is flowing through the secondary winding of the circuit will also give rise to a changing magnetic field and so a changing magnetic flux will get linked with the primary winding of the circuit. Due to this reason EMF will get induced in the primary winding and the flux linkage in the primary winding will be proportional to the induced current which is flowing through the secondary winding. Hence we will write phi 1 is directly proportional to I2. On removing the sign of proportionality we will have phi 1 is equals to m I2. According to Faraday the EMF induced will be equal to the rate of change of magnetic flux. So we will have E1 is equals to minus d phi 1 upon dt. On substituting the value of this phi 1 in this equation we will have E1 is equals to minus d of m i 2 upon dt. Hence we will get E1 is equals to minus m 1 2 d i 2 upon dt. Here this m 1 2 represents the mutual inductance in the primary coil due to secondary. Guys the coefficient of mutual induction depends on the geometry of coils as well as its orientation and separation and due to this reason either it is m12 or m21 these parameters will remain same in both the cases and therefore we can say m12 is equals to m21 will be equal to m. Well guys this is all for now I hope you enjoyed this session please like and share and don't forget to subscribe our channel for further updates put on your valuable comments below I'll catch you all soon. Till then have a great time bye bye.